All right, welcome back to ANJ Media here. We are going to talk about Tomb Raider, the definitive edition today for the PlayStation 4. This is a one-player game. You can also do it with remote play if you have a PlayStation Vita. It's about 17 gigs. Of course, it can use two to eight players with the network. The online is optional here. So what we have here is a brand new reboot. Uh, it came out in 2013, so this game is about two years old. It still works, though. The graphic content on it's really well. Uh, we're getting ready to gear up for Rise of the Tomb Raider. It's going to be an Xbox exclusive to the Xbox One and Xbox 360. It will also be a single player. Uh, this is going to have a crafting system where players will have to create things out of wood and timber. Uh, if you need heavier cloaks, you'll have to kill wolves. Uh, it works like a day and night cycle. So whatever happens in the day, something different's going to happen at night. Laura can also swim. So this will be followed up from the Guardian of Light back in 2013. So this right here is the definitive edition for the PlayStation 4. So we've got a few things going on here. We've got the new game, multiplayer, extras, and option. Inside of the options, it's just the display and the audio. So we don't need to cover that. So let's look at the extras. Now inside of here, you've got concept art, character models, comic book, art book, credits, and then the definitive edition credits. Uh, so coming off from an art student, let's take a look at the character models. Um, we did some 3D rendering uh, back in school here. So this is something that I found interesting just as one of those students here. So this one's Lara Croft. Now it gives you the ability to zoom around the character and kind of pan, get some views going on here. I mean, just the detail on this character, you know, 20 years in the making, and she's still going strong here. So we've got sweat coming off. We've got the hair in the face. The hair moves when the body moves. You can see that the hands are dirty. There's some blood on her tank top right there. We've got all the little belts and buckles going on. Looks like a patch on her arm right there. And then she's got her necklace. So the facial features here, the eyes, nose, lips, they're really, they really did focus on getting the details right with this. So great job to the developers and team. Uh, so while we're thanking everybody, I'd like to thank YouTube and also thank our partners with Freedom for allowing us to do these tutorials today and uh, kind of get this out here so you guys can get an opinion based on gameplay if you haven't bought this game already. Um, so yeah, let's get started here. We'll back out of this one and then we'll go into the art book. So this is the Survivor is Born. Basically, Lara Croft is 21, just out of university on her first expedition. So there's a lot of things going on before the Tomb Raider was really known. So this is Lara finding her path in this game here. You can see the concept art. You've got the boat that has been rendered out here for a 2D image onto a digital piece backdrop. Uh, so a lot of concept arts going into this, a lot of thinking and detail. You can see the sun coming off the water in the background on the concept art. Just really, really high graft, high quality pictures. Uh, between the snow, avalanche, I mean, she's hanging by a parachute on the tree back there. Uh, this one right here is just rubble and debris, really just everywhere. Um, so we're going to scroll through these so you guys can see them here. I mean, just look at the flame on the arrow. The light going through her eye right there is just showing you that she's got a purpose. She's slowly finding her way. You can see her fingertips, her thumb, or excuse me, her pinky. She's got cuts all over her fingers and her elbow. So the... To the right of the screen, you've got the uh, shotgun, the assault rifle, her famous bow and arrow that she's going to be known for through the 20 years of the gameplay. And she's got a little handgun. And then there's a little two-way radio, which she doesn't start off with, but she'll equip it later on. 
So that was Harry Potter's brother over there. Uh, so these are the friends. And this is kind of the crew that she meets um, along the way there. So they kind of get separated during the game. She has to meet up with them um, from the wreckage. So let's go ahead and get started here. Now my wife has a game already started. But we are going to start a new game. So let's get started. So there are three slots. The first game is the 46%. The second game is something that I've been working on, so that was just for me and my soul play. But the third one's empty, so we're going to start in the empty slot here. And we're going to choose easy just to get you through the game. Like I said earlier, these are just how-to tutorials, so we won't really be playing the A game. A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. I finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure, but instead, adventure found me. moments when life flashes before us we find something something that keeps us going something that pushes us Okay, so that was the introduction here to the Tomb Raider uh, for the beginning here. That was just the features and intro. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a short break and we will be right back. This is A&J Media. They say do what you love and we're doing it. If you liked what you saw, click on the next one, which is up at the top. If you like what you see after that, click the next one on the bottom. This is A&J Media signing off, and to you gamers, have a great day.